I'm going to build a NAND gate and look at its un inputs and outputs. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. So here we go. I need to draw a control device called an AND gate, which I'll put here. I also need to draw another control device called an invert gate, which I'll put there. I also need to draw an input device called a switch here and here. I also need to draw an output device, an LED, which I'll put here for the moment. I'll draw a selector. All right, let's get these guys all lined up nice and neat. And let's move this down here and this over to here and that there and that here that's fine. Right. and this way they'll fit on the screen so let's connect them up draw the wire and I'll connect this output to this input this input to this output and this the AND gates output to the NOT gates input and the NOT gates output to the LEDs input. There we go. Draw selector. Now let's see if I can move them a little bit closer together. That's nice. Yeah. Mm, whoops, no, don't do that. But if I try to center it just a little bit, like that. Oh, that's great. Okay, good. Now, what I want to do is simulate the project. Simulate and run. Whoa, the light went right on. Gee, that's strange. Well, let's find out what's happened. Let's go over here to our truth table. And what do we have? We have an input A up here, B here. C is here, and D is here. Well, you know, I don't have those labeled. That's bad. Let me go label them. Simulate, stop, draw, and what shall we do? Draw text. Output, and I'll call this, well, I'll just put in one, two, three, and four. And now draw and selector. Now I go to this text over here, I click, and I'll call this A. Now I'll grab this guy, well, put the A over here, and now take this text and I'll call this B. That's good. So here's my A, here's my B inputs. And over here, this will be my C input. So I'll try and move close there. And over here, I'll call this my D input. So now we can see what we're dealing with. I may extend this a bit, and this just a tad, so I can put that here, move this in, give us some fighting room, so it looks fairly neat, so we can see a little bit more clearly. Good? So I have A, B, C, and D, and that's what I have down here in my truth table. Let's simulate this now. When A is off and B is off, well, let's let's use the correct terminology. When A is zero and B is zero, when A is zero and B is zero, what is C? When an AND gate, C is zero. But then that zero 
is inverted to a 1. And the LED goes on. Huh. Let me put right over here LED and then on. That's good. All right. Now, let's go back up here. Now, what happens when A is on and B is off? Hmm, no change. Let's see how this works. When A is a 1 and B is a 0, then C is, well, 1 and a 0 in an AND gate. They both have to be 1 to get a 1. So I have a 1 and a 0. That's going to generate a 0. Because these two have to be 1 to get a 1 here. Now I got a 1 and a 0. That's going to give me a 0. So C is 0. But then it gets inverted by the NOT gate, and it becomes a 1. So the light remains on. Well then what happens next? I come up here and I click on the B on the B switch and this goes on. Now whoops. Well you know what I should do? I should shut off A and then turn on B. Yes, that would be a better idea. So now I switch it so that A is off. A is a zero and B is a one. which is what I have here. And then, but a 0 and a 1 on an AND gate is going to give me a 0 for the output, so C is going to be 0. Because I have a 0 and a 1, that's going to give me a 0 on an AND gate. It gets knotted, and 0 gets negated to, or inverted to, a 1, and the light remains on. Finally, I'll put a will be on. Let's go over there. Turn A on. And B is on. That's a 1 and a 1. So over here I have 1 and a 1. I turn the both of them on. What does that do? 1 and a 1 on an AND gate gives me a 1 on the output, the C. So C is a 1. But now that 1 gets inverted to a 0 and the light goes off. That is amazing. So let's check these and make sure they all worked well. I'm going to shut them both off, 0 and a 0, which is what I have down here, and LED goes on. What happens? LED goes on. Right there. Now, I come back up here, and A goes on, B is 0, and my LED is on. It's on. Beautiful. Now, I go over here, A is 0, B is 1, A is 0, B is 1, A is 0, B is 1, and C, this guy here, is going to be 0. That gets inverted to a 1 and that translates to light is on and that's what we get right here. Ta-da! Next I have both of them are turned on. A and B are on. So turn this on and turn this on and it's a 1 and a 1. Output C gets a 1. Right there. That gets a 1. But the 1 gets inverted to a 0 by the NOT gate, right here. And that means the LED goes off, right here. Wow. So, it checked out well. And, um, so what did I call this thing over here? A truth table. A truth table. Wow. Well, what can I say? X.
except let's move this over to here. Oh, that's not a good idea. Let's not move that over to there. I have a good idea. Let's move this over to here. That's good. And what shall we do now? I know. We're finished. So long from Gary Day. Seven 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 AKA Hoboken Gare. I'll abbreviate. Abbreviating is good. <sighs> that was fun. Well, so long now. Bye bye.